Uh, the goals and expe expectations that we have for the season this year is uh, I just want our team to compete well at the championship as, as uh, always. And I think if we do that, we're going to put ourselves in a position by the end of the meet to do something I feel could be special. Uh, it's a two-day meet. We've got to take one event at a time, starting on Friday, all the way th through the 4x4 four four on Saturday. And if we focus on what we have to do, maybe not other teams, but we focus on ourselves and what we can do, uh, I think this could be a very special uh, meet for the Seagulls. Uh, some uh, performers that have been uh, really key for us this year, a lot of upperclassmen, a lot of seniors uh, have been kind of leading us uh, in the distance and middle distance. Of course, we've got Carly. Uh, who's a senior this year, and then we have Ashley Mazur and uh, Shay McCluskey in the distance and middle distance have been doing awfully uh, well this year. Uh, sprints, uh, we've got Jamie Farley and Glory, two of our seniors, along with Ashley Linton. Ashley seems to ha always score a few key points for us every single championship meet, but you know, Glory in the short sprints, uh, Jamie of course in the long sprints uh, have been really key for our team. In the jumps, we've got uh, Kylie Dumas and she uh, had some really good uh, attempts at 12 foot, uh, close to that, and I'm looking forward to seeing her raise the bar as we finish off this indoor season. And then finally in the throws, we have uh, Amani uh, Hessel. Um, Amani has been really good in the weight, and I would expect her to do big things uh, with the throws in that particular event. Uh, men key performers that we have this year in the distances and mid distances, well, we've got Connor Mastran, he's broken our school records in the 3K and 5K. Currently, is leading the conference right now in both of those events. Uh, we've got uh, also Emmanuel Porkwin. Emmanuel's a strong middle distance. Every championship we've had, he's been a key contributor in that, and will be anchoring our DMR uh, in, in that event on Friday. Uh, in the sprints, uh, we've got uh, Jack McCluskey, and uh, we've got Alex Hardman. Uh, both of them are seniors. This is their last campaign uh, of, th of their career here, and I know they're going to make it a good one. Jack, of course, handles the, the short sprints, and then Alex handles the long sprints. And the jumps, we've got a, a mix of uh, some vets and a new person. Uh, Jeff McGinnis and, and Chris Levy is handling the long and triple force, done a, a, a very, very good job uh, throughout the season. And then uh, Zach Stump, uh, who transferred in here mid-semester, uh, very, very good pole vaulter, leading the pole vault right now in the conference as of today. How our schedule has helped us, uh, we got a we're able with our schedule and the calendar the way it fell an extra meet in December so we got a lot accomplished early on and then uh, was able to you know take the pressure off of us when we came back from from winter break uh, we've gone to a lot of division one and division two meets and I think that level of competition is, is really helped prepare us for what we're going to face at the conference championship what I'm looking forward to mostly uh, about our team is watching us compete at the championship uh, we've got a very positive, hard-working group of, of athletes. Uh, I'm very uh, proud of them and what we've accomplished so far uh, this year. Um, but you know, I, what I want them to do is when we step off that bus on, on February the 15th, uh, on the end of the, you know, the facility, I want them to uh, you know, understand that they're prepared and we're prepared to face anything that uh, we may have uh, coming up uh, d during those two days. And I think if we do those, when we face those challenges and commit ourselves to each other and, and take care of what we can take care of, I think we could have something very, very special occur on uh, Saturday.